What's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here at the Toyota Lexus headquarters in Plano, Texas, and we are here for a big unveil. And guess what? It's this SUV right here. This is it. This is the all new fifth generation 2023 Lexus RX 350. But before we get into the OG of luxury crossover SUVs, let's talk about what's going on here. Lexus, they are going through their lineup and really redefining what people's expectations are of this brand. Now, of course, the premium brand of Toyota is bringing plenty to the table, not only when it comes to style, but when it also comes to technology and powertrains. This vehicle sits on an all new platform known as the GAK platform. And what's great is, is that you're still gonna be able to get your internal combustion engine alone, but you're also gonna have some electrified hybrid options, both regular hybrid and plug-in electric hybrid. One thing is for certain, this midsize SUV luxury class has grown since the introduction of the RX. And like I was saying, back in the 1990s, a lot of people were scratching their heads wondering, has Lexus lost their mind bringing a vehicle like this to market because nobody had ever thought an SUV could have those luxurious touches. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this beautiful platinum silver RX350 and find out, is it a better luxury SUV than the Acura MDX or the mighty BMW X5? Let's go ahead and find out. Right off the bat, the style. When you look at the front end of the business, they did a great job interpreting the Lexus philosophy into the new headlights. So you're gonna have those triple LED beam headlights. You have your large daytime running lamp, which is also your turn single, and it's blended in nicely. I'm really digging the way that they've carved the headlight housing to kind of match mesh into this new grill, which we'll get to that in a second, because that's a big talking point right here. Working your way down, you have these large flat black and gloss black areas. Now these are functional air curtains, which are great. They look very aggressive and they didn't forget about the fog lamps. You do get LED fog lamps on the lower side. Now, as we come across the nose of this vehicle, you're gonna notice a little bit different design. They actually took the top of the hood and front fascia and wrapped it down to start the grill. I think this is gonna be the next big debate. First, it was BMW with their massive lung size grills on the front of vehicles like the 4 Series. Let me know what you think about this. Are you liking the direction that they went in or did they go a little too over the top? But that spindle grill design goes from the body color match into this nice dark metallic gray finish all the way down, full functionality. And I'm really, really digging how all of these slots, even on the bottom portion, are functional. And you have the Lexus badge, and I like the way they kind of set it within the front fascia. Now, when we get up onto the hood, you have that nose. Some people are calling it a porpoise. Some people are calling it a dolphin. I think Lexus is brave, and brave in a good way, because you got to kind of think outside the box and think about it. Going back to the 1990s, a lot of people called them out for even creating the RX and it was a big sales success. So it's gonna be interesting to see how people accept this as more get to the dealerships and get in the hands of future Lexus owners. Now, the hood, super clean on the style. So you're gonna have the nice wide finish. You have the rise in the hood that goes towards the eight pose and you really notice it looking at it from the corner here. Look at how different the hood height is from this portion by the headlights compared to what's at the main top portion really gives it a nice depth of style. What's interesting is, is that this vehicle with the new platform is 198 pounds lighter than the outgoing RX350. Another big debatable thing besides this is what's underneath the hood. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, it's got a V6, of course. No, 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 no. No more, no more, no longer. And let me know what you think about this. The RX350 has no V6. 
no V6 option. This now comes with that 2.4 liter turbocharged inline four engine producing about 275 horsepower. That is the same engine setup that we brought to you with the Lexus NX350. So if you haven't seen that review and how that engine performs, I will sh leave it at the end of this particular one and it will at least give you an idea of how it drives. But remember, the NX is a compact luxury SUV. This is a midsize. Now, the great news is if you want more power, Lexus is gonna bring more power. We also brought you that sneak peek walk around at the unveil of the new 500H F Sport Performance. More torque than a Lexus LC500. So if you haven't seen that review, I'll also leave the link for that one at the end of this review. But underneath the hood of this one, like I said, 2.4 liter inline four turbocharged engine. You could get front wheel drive. You could get rear wheel drive. Assume, <laughs> they wish rear wheel drive. Front wheel drive or all wheel drive, zero to 60 in 7.2 seconds with all wheel drive. 7.4 seconds with front wheel drive. Now, as we come around the bend, you can see all the nice sculpted finishes, especially those corner air intakes. I like the way they kind of brought that lower section out. And then as we slide to the wheel, what do we got going on here? You got this beautiful multi-spoke, dark metallic gray, 21 inch wheel. Love the finish to it, really matches our particular silver one. If you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of the tire? 235 on the width, nice meaty 50 series sidewall. What I like most about the side of this vehicle, it's not just the wheel, it's they painted around the fender opening. So no flat black, that gives it that nice high end feel and definitely looks more contemporary than a BMW X5 or even an Acura MDX. Some people might say that those are bland compared to this new RX350, but definitely digging the wheel style. Now, as we kind of rise up, this is where we start to talk about the other finishes. Of course, you're gonna get that body color match on the mirror caps, a little bit of chrome. And this is where, you know, on an F Sport, I definitely wanna see this be dark chrome finish, but I do like the way they brought it in with the small LED turn singles. You'll see both top and bottom, you're gonna get the bright, shiny metal work. Another thing, like I said, when we go to do that, I would like to see it black chrome on an F Sport. Now, coming down the side of the vehicle, I'm six feet tall. You'll notice that with the door handles, you got that two-tone material, but being six feet tall, it kind of gives you an idea of the proportions of this vehicle, the longer wheelbase, and like I said, shedding 198 pounds of weight with this vehicle. You got your nice low roof rails, and the roof height is actually quite low. Think about getting a kayak holder up there or something like that. It's gonna be well within reach. One of my favorite parts of the back end of the vehicle is definitely how they interpreted the quarter window. I really love the way, instead of just going with a square shape, a rectangle, a rhombus, you have a nice drop to that trim and they did a great job with the glass. And then look at the door here. So you could see how they brought the body line up into the door, into that rear fender. And then this diagonal line really shows some motion, even though we're not moving right now at this Lexus Design Studio facility. Now, coming towards the tail end of the business, you'll see how they flare out the trim with the glass coming into that nice wide fender area. I think this really gives it both a sportier look and a mature look all at the same time. You got that nice long low roof spoiler and to really just clean everything up, they got rid of the exterior wiper just sticking out in the wind. They actually tucked it up underneath and that's just gonna allow that super clean finish. This is one of those SUVs that at the rear has such a great look, especially with the LED lighting. I think Lexus is doing some of the best LED lighting in the business. You got the Lexus name badge spelled out, no longer that single badge. And then of course, like we talked about, you could have front wheel drive on the RX350. Ours is the all wheel drive. Working your way down, super clean. No fake exhaust, no exhaust tailpipe hanging down. I think that just makes it simplified, nice and clean, unlike some of the other brands. But while we go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and get into a new RX and show you the big differences 
between the previous generation. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, we're inside this all new 2023 Lexus RX. Now we started off the video and finished the video with that walk around of an RX 350. That one we weren't able to get into, but we are getting special privileges from Lexus to be inside this RX 500H F Sport Performance. If you remember, we did this at the unveil night. And like I said, I'll leave the link of that video at the end of this one. Now, I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been thinking about a mid-sized luxury SUV. All my friends have the German Euro brands. And to me, they're just boring. I'm really liking this Lexus, especially the durability. What about pricing? So no official pricing yet. This is the big day of the unveil, but stay tuned because we will have a full drive review of the RX lineup in the upcoming months. But until we know what the pricing is, let's see what you're going to be getting for your hard-earned money to the all-new door panel. So just like what you find in an NX with the redesign, you're getting the same great touches. Now up top, these finishes are remember pre-production, so they may not be exactly the same when you get it at your dealership. Plus this one is for the 500 HF Sport Performance. I'm loving the red contrast stitching, the nice textured design. Of course, you're gonna have that premium multi-speaker Mark Levinson sound system that's gonna sound good, nice and clear. And then the way they brought the red into the interior, that's always been one of my favorite trademarks of Lexus is the way they have the color palette of their interiors to brighten things up. You'll notice that you don't actually have a physical door handle in the sense of what you know. That silver area, you actually push that and it pops the door open. Yes, there's an emergency feature in case the battery is dead to open up the door. Plus you're gonna get, of course, the bicycle alert, motorcycle alert, to where you're not just gonna open up your door in traffic and accidentally get it ripped off. You do have a good door pocket. And you know, one thing that's popular here in Texas is a place called Bucky's. You could easily get two pulled pork Bucky sandwiches and a nice large milkshake to wash it all down. Going from the door panel to the dash, nice clean style. You'll see how you have almost this step-like system in here with the two-part dash. It really allows you to kind of feel not so enclosed. On the F Sport Performance, this 500H F Sport Performance, you have the Alcantara microfiber suede material, the red stitching. I'm loving the way there's not a bunch of gloss black. They didn't just simply dump a gloss black palette in here. They really brought some finishes. Now, just like the NX that we brought to you, you are getting an all new updated infotainment system. No more pesky trackpad. You have that touchscreen capability, just like we showed you before. And if you want to see all the great things that you could do with this massive 14 inch, inch infotainment system screen, you could actually do that at the link at the end of this video. Powering it back up. We're then going to slide on down. You got your AC vents. Look at the beautiful graphics. It's cool that when you come in, you're welcome to that type of information you got ventilated seats heated seats heated steering wheel we're back to the home plate here you got your dual climate controls nice and easy to operate you got your ac vents of course you're going to get your camera view so you just hit that button does a 360 camera view action working your way down usb c's quick charging a place for at least one twinkie and then there's more of that great finish Open up the door, what do we got? USB-C, USB-A, and a wireless charger. This is gonna control, in this particular vehicle, a six-speed automatic. In the RX350, the standard one, that's gonna be an eight-speed automatic. We'll talk about the other powertrains down the road. No fingerprints on any of this material. You got, of course, all the room for your cup holders, traction control, soft touch material. And another thing that I like is I could open up the center console for me, or I could open up the center console for you. You could easily put, I would say, two pairs of spurs, especially because we're here in Texas, a lot of cowboys and cowgirls. Love the seats, the F Sport badging, 
two-tone material, nice bolstering. One of the things that Lexus seems to know is how to make a bolstered seat, but also make it cover, uh, comfortable, full electric assist, and then check it out, that massive panoramic sunroof, as much glass as that you're gonna find on a skyscraper, and technology-wise, you're getting that digital rear view mirror, which is also a nice touch to keep you safe. But why don't you come over to the business end, I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Lexus RX. Hi guys, business time behind the wheel of the all new RX. You're gonna get three memory seat settings so you could have two other friends that maybe you let borrow your RX, which I wouldn't let them borrow mine, but at least you'll have your seat setting all saved for you. You got a nice F Sport aluminum sill plate, obviously specific for this one. And then the pedal box is spot on the money. You got a nice large dead pedal, all aluminum brake pedal and throttle. Plenty of room even for people with big shoes, and you know what they say about people with big feet, right? They got big shoes. You got your electric seat controls, easy to get to within fingertip. I'm six feet tall, and even with the bolstered seats in the F Sport, I feel snug as a bug in a Lexus rug, and I'm really, really liking what I'm feeling with the finishes. Steering wheel, another great place to put your hands. You have leather, the two-piece, perforated with your F-Sport badge. We do have, of course, a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. You can see the massive paddles for the six-speed automatic in this one, but your regular RX 350 is gonna have that eight-speed. And then that 12-inch digital gauge display. Really, really love the clean graphics. Obviously, once we're able to drive it, we'll be able to show you all the features, but super clear. You got your different drive modes and a massive 10 inch head up display. But speaking of heads up, let's get a heads up and go into the back seat and see how your passengers are gonna enjoy this new RX. All right guys, back seat time. I know it's all about you because you're gonna be the owner and the driver about, of this vehicle and you're concerned about what's happening at the front end of the business. What about the back seat for your passengers? The great news is, is that they went ahead and gave us a nice switch right for the electric seats to fold up and fold down. And the even better news is, is that all the fine finishes and touches that you're gonna be able to experience at the front seat area, you're gonna get it in the back seat area as well. Nice soft touch material. You got those super large pockets. You could easily fit, I would say, about seven churros in here, especially the big long ones that you get at the Texas State Fair. The back command center, this is what I'm talking about. You have AC vents, heated seats, and ventilated seats. Thank you, Lexus, because here in Texas yesterday, it was about 98 degrees and we were sweating bullets. USB-Cs, and you got your AC controls. I'm six feet tall. I have not shrunk since the last time you see me, but I got plenty of headroom in here. Even with the massive panoramic sunroof, look at the leather, the microfiber suede material. This really shows the class, the sport, and the extra style. And then you're gonna get a nice armrest, not the softest, but I'll show you why. Look at this, open it up. You got a nice Twinkie tray right there, easily fit for Twinkies. Plus, of course, you got your cup holders for the chocolate Yoo-Hoo to wash it all down. But why don't we go ahead, let's get into the cargo area because I wanna see what kind of mail we could haul in this new RX. All right, guys, obviously the most important part of an SUV is gonna be that cargo area. Let's see what Lexus has done for this redesign. So you hit the button, nice electric assist. And remember, I know you're probably saying, why is this one white? It looks different than the one that we showed at the beginning. This is the 500H F Sport Performance. More performance, more power, but you're gonna get that great same usable space. Now, what we did was, because we are at a special event, we kind of have to show a little bit of everything all at one time, we have the passenger seat here behind the driver that is in your standard position and it's incredible the amount of depth that they were able to carve in the back of this vehicle not only from front to back but also top to bottom on the right on the left hand side you'll notice that you have that subwoofer there from that mark levinson premium sound system we also have the buttons power assisted rear seats, what you do is you hold it down for about four seconds, then you could release the button and they will go down. You got your 60-40 Tango split. You'll notice that with the seat down, that's gonna maximize your Costco run so you could go ahead and get that 50 gallon drum of ketchup that you've been wanting for your next cookout. And then of course you're gonna get that home power source. So when you're at the beach, 
and your kids want all those rafts inflated, you don't have to worry about using up all your precious lung capacity. You could plug in your electric air compressor and inflate it right there at the beach. Plus, you have this luxurious wrapper. Now, I know you want to go on throttle, especially in this 500H F Sport performance, as do I, but guess what? Patience is a virtue, and the upcoming few months, we will be getting behind the wheel of not only this one, but the rest of the RX lineup. But until that day comes, we need to wrap this up because they're about to kick us out here at the Toyota headquarters, so let's get to it. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a time being around this new RX, such an iconic SUV over the years, really changing the industry and bringing a lot of competition from the auto manufacturers that are also within this realm. Let me know what you think. Has Lexus done the right stuff to make this the RX that you wanna buy over vehicles like an Acura MDX or a BMW X5? Put it in the comment section, but until we meet another day in another design studio, if you're on your way out, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. We'll come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We gotta give it up to Lori, working so hard in tight confines. This was challenging, but you know, she rose to the occasion. Let her know how much you love her great camera skills. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.